we moved from San Antonio to Melrose, and they were going, well, how are we gonna make the transition? We were like one of the first families of color in that school district. During parent-teacher night, where you normally get the grades and things like that, there were teachers that would come out and say, hey, let's have a potluck. And the potluck was actually pretty good because what they would do is that they would say, okay, well, while we're going to be telling you about how your son or daughter's doing, we need to like, let's try to do some things like uh, exchange of food, build community, things like that. That's actually pretty effective. Then we had an influx of new students from the Hmong community that started coming into the school system and they did the same thing. And everybody wanted to know, well, what would you bring? How'd you do this? Da -da. And it starts the communication. That's what it is. People simply need to know other people. And getting around the table, get powerful way to build community. They would come up and they start asking us like, so what do we do to help you with your children so they can do great things in our school district? I said, if anything ever happens where my son feels uncomfortable because of his color, race, things like that, then I need to know. And the next thing I know, I got an email and a telephone call saying that we had one particular thing where this person on the bus was making fun of my son. He was using that horrible thing called the N-word. And I said, I know you're trying to figure this out. So we sat down with the parents and we all worked it out. They just brought everybody in. The principal was sitting on, you know, kind of in between. So we could all start to discuss, this is what happened. This is what the reaction was. How do we fix it? And there wasn't a pointing finger. It's just, how do we fix it? That's the best way to operate. At Melrose, the class sizes were like 10 to 12. And that was about it. So there was a lot of specialized attention that you could actually have for your, your son or daughter. The biggest challenge they had when we first moved to Melrose is that the teaching standards were so much higher than where we were from. Teachers would bend over backwards, spend extra time, whatever was needed, so he would feel comfortable to make the grades. Spending a little time does a lot for building trust with students of color.